Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. And if you're a new viewer, then welcome to Pie in the Sky Tools. In today's video, I wanted to just quickly show you a useful tip for changing the overall sharpness in VR in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. This is kind of a follow-up to my last settings video, which can be found in the link above. I would actually encourage you to try this setting and see if it does indeed improve the amount of shimmer you're experiencing in VR. Since the OpenXR Toolkit was released, you have no doubt been experimenting with various settings in order to get a sharp and crisp image without oversaturating it. The Toolkit is really brilliant for this, and I tend to rely on this mostly. However, I just wanted to go through another option in terms of improving the overall shimmer you may be seeing in VR. I notice this the most when I fly in clear skies or bright sunlight. The way we make these changes to the sharpening tool is to go into Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 User Config Notes, and I'll go through that with you now. And the way you find the user config notes, first of all, you go to your C drive, users, and whatever user you are, app data, roaming, and Microsoft Flight Simulator. Within the Microsoft Flight Simulator folder, you'll see the user config file. So just double check where you've saved the sim because it might be in a different location than mine, depending on where you saved it. So before we start looking at the config file, it does look quite complicated, but don't worry about it. As long as you follow these instructions, nothing else will change. And remember guys, the reason I'm showing you this is that I found that if I turn off sharpening or set it to zero in the VR section of the user config file, then I pretty much eliminate the shimmering problem. Now, obviously this is going to affect the sharpening tool that you use if you're using the OpenXR toolkit. So you could just change this and make adjustments in that tool, or you could disable that tool altogether and just try this on its own. It's totally experimental and it's totally personal preference. So there's no right or wrong way of doing this. I'm just showing you another option to try and get rid of that shimmer in VR. So here we go. What you need to do first of all is scroll down until you find the post process section. Here you can see sharpen is the fourth option down and you need to change those values from one to zero. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this content useful as it helps others find the channel too. And just make sure you save that file. The next thing we need to do is make sure this is a read only file. And how we do that is we right click on the file go down to properties and just click on the attributes of read only. Click apply and click okay. So from changing the values from one to zero, so what that does, it lowers the sharpening in the sim, which seems to really reduce the shimmering. I'm not saying it'll be completely gone, but it does have an impact on the amount of shimmering, which is a good thing. When I first did this, it actually worked, but when I reset the sim, those settings would reset as well. So I was getting nowhere. I didn't want to always have to go in there and change it because I really don't want to do this every time. I actually read that the GeForce Experience could be the reason why it was happening. So for those of you with the GeForce Experience app, what you need to do is go into the settings, go down to games and apps, and you'll see optimal playable settings is on the right hand side. Just make sure that's unchecked. You don't need to press anything to save it. You just close the app and that's it. So that seemed to stop the resetting problem. So now it's working for me every time. If you do change the value to zero and you don't like it, but you've actually made it a read only file, what you need to do is go to properties first, uncheck the read only file, and then go and change the value to one again. And then you can put it back onto the read only file again. That way it won't change again and it'll be back to default. It's not a very long winded way of doing things. It's just a matter of changing a number and making sure it's saved properly. When it is really bright and sunny and often shimmery, I'll come in here and I'll lower the sharpen setting in conjunction with the rest of my settings. And it seems to help get rid of it. But again, this is really personal preference. So I don't want to tell you like what's right and wrong in terms of what numbers you should be using. Just try and see what's best for you. And yeah, we're all going to get different results. But I hope this kind of just gives you an idea of how to do this. And then you can mess around with the settings and really dial in your personal preference and just leave it and forget about it. And just concentrate on what you're going to fly and where you're going to fly next. If you do have any other solutions or problems you've faced, or I've forgotten to say something, please add it in the comments. And together we can help each other fix things like this and hopefully have a better time flying in VR. And if you want to use this in combination with my settings, then you can find the video here based on the HP Reverb G2. As always, I hope you find this content useful and I look forward to making the next video soon. In the meantime, as always, take care and stay safe.